what's up good people aka winners that's what we do hey that's all we do hey 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 i'm coming to you with another feed yo hey coming to you with another feed yo freaky freaky <laughs> so guys we are back with another video i told you guys that we were getting back on schedule. I was thinking of a song, but that's okay. But let me encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe, join the fam bam, okay? When you guys join the fam bam, you get access, girl. Seriously, you guys get notifications whenever I upload a video and I just encourage you to do so. And don't forget to like and share and do all that good stuff because it really helps the channel and it's just really encouraging, you know what I mean? My favorite videos I would have to say, number one, are product reviews and like first impression videos, which is similar to a review, but it's more of like a, it's more of like me trying a product for the first time and letting you know my thoughts based on my first time trying it, right? But my other like fave videos like seriously are the videos where i get to just talk to you guys and i get to um share some tips with you guys which i do incorporate tips into my other videos like reviews and all that kind of stuff but when we can just like go back to the basics and we can just like you know talk about some things chat about makeup chat about why we do what we do and give you guys tips and tricks i freaking love those videos because I just love to help. You understand what I mean? I love to um, empower. I love to show you not only how to do something, but I like to show you why and give you guys tips that will probably change the game for you, all right? So I am a makeup artist as well as a makeup instructor. You will be surprised. The number one thing or question or request that I get from women is, how can I hide these dark circles? How can I hide these blemishes? How can I just rock something without putting a whole bunch of product on my face, okay? So I also thought that this video would be fitting with summer, you know, um, fastly approaching because during the summer months, people don't really like to pile on foundation, highlighter, yada, 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 this and so. So it's literally a two-step process to having a flawless face. You always want to moisturize your face and, you know, put on some, maybe some eye cream or even use your moisturizer under your eyes because I don't care how oily your skin is. You need to hydrate your face. I do not know if you guys are aware of this, but when you wash your face, even the softest, um, most gentle cleanser, it literally strips your face of oils and dirt and all that good stuff. I mean, which it should, right? Cause we want to clean our face and get all that dirt and residue off. And come on, when you walk outside all the debris and all the stuff that's in the air, our face is like kind of grabbing a hold to all that stuff. Ew. Ugh, I know. So it is very important that you hydrate your skin. Plus it allows your, your skin to remain its elasticity. Let me say that again. <laughs> it allows your skin to remain or to keep its elasticity. So even though we're younger, we may not need elasticity as much, right? We may think we don't, but when we get older, your skin is like elasticity. Where, where you at? <laughs> I may not show you me moisturizing my face on camera, but girl, it's always moisturized and I always have like an eye cream. Now, you can use a few products for this, okay? So I'm gonna give you some options options in my Martin voice. First, what I do is I do correct under my eye and then I do a little bit of correcting around the face. Now we're not going to use a liquid foundation at all. This is simply for my girls and, and all y'all watching that want something super simple every day, but you want it to look like, you know, you have an even tone and a flawless type uh, face, right? You have a flawless face without going through all the motions. All right. I did do my brows um, with a brow pomade by Ofra cosmetics which I, I didn't go into all that because I have a video that talks about how I do my brows but over here on top of my eye because our eyes can look a little bit dark around the eyes as well okay so what I simply used was my Milani conceal and perfect long wear concealer right here I simply and I like it because it has a little bit of orange in it which is great for uh neutralizing properties all right and so 
I take this 170 and I put it on top of my lid to mute out discoloration and I blend it out and then I set it with my face powder and that is it and of course I'm a part of the itty bitty lash committee so I did pop on lashes but for this supernatural look you can totally use like three coats of mascara if you have lashes and and life is great okay I promise pinky promise now the next thing you will need is a corrector or a concealer now you can use a concealer that has correcting properties which is um, you guys know that I'm hooked on this one right now which is the makeup forever ultra HD concealer but this is in the shade 51 so it has a hint and I'm looking at my monitor whenever you see me look that way but it has some orange in it because for deeper skin tones orange colors or orange correctors actually cancel out like blue or dark circles around her eye right but if you are of a lighter skin tone, you may want to go more with a salmon color concealer, okay? And LA Girl does have some as well as this orange corrector. Now, usually this orange corrector, I will use it on really, really deep skin tones or I will get this orange corrector and based on the skin tone that I'm working with that day, I will mix it with the found their foundation shade or I will mix it with a lighter concealer until I get the desired color. Now I do have a video on how to make your own corrector, okay? And this will apply to any skin tone. A lot of times people are like, well, I just wanna use concealer. Concealer is all good, but I find that when you use a concealer that's just your skin shade or skin tone, if it is not like the proper undertone or um, if it, I just feel like sometimes it still allows a gray cast to come in, right? And then you end up having to pile on more concealer to cover up that cast that is coming through. So even though I use concealer on top of my corrector, I feel as though when I correct first, it neutralizes like I want it to, and then I can go on top with the concealer. But if you wanna skip the corrector, you could just go straight to the concealer and then you can put on your powder. I also use this on clients as well. This is the Tanti Dole Ultra Wear Concealer, and this is in shade 510. This works wonders too, and actually, let me just swatch it. I should swatch all of them, to be honest. And so this is really a, um, a dark tone concealer that has a hint of orange in it as well. I like to use that on my clients and you can mix that and make it lighter as well. Makeup Revolution has an orange corrector that you can mix, but I think that LA Girl is the cheapest one. I believe that it used to be $2.99 at the Beauty Supply. I think it's $5.99 on um, LA Girl site, but I do have a code for 10% off, which I'll put in the description box as well. But you can use this. You just have to make sure that you blend it with a foundation and a concealer or a concealer of your shade to make it lighter because here's the thing if you go this dark I'm not saying that you can't depending on the pigmentation or the hyper pigmentation underneath your eyes you can go as deep as this however it is a little harder to cover up and because we're not using a foundation I want something that is going to blend seamlessly and neutralize without bringing a whole bunch of attention to the to the color of the product that I use pause for the cause because yeah y'all see this situation right here um yeah so that will be my mic okay and the reason that it is here is because last time I had it all hidden and disclosed right it was all discreet and whatnot and I, because I had on jewelry and stuff, it was moving around and it was making a little bit of noise. So she's just coming to say hello on today and she's just gonna be in the video, okay? Now, back to the regularly scheduled program. The next item that I talked to you guys about is this Makeup Forever 51 that I am in love with right now. And we're just gonna use it all over. And um, that's gonna be the highlight of the video. I usually use the Urban Decay as well. Matter of fact, let me show you that too. This is what I usually use over my face, like around my mouth area, because it is a little bit more matte. As you can see, see how dry it is and kind of matte it is? But, and it's similar to that color too. Powder that we're gonna use today is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum. And this is, it says that it is, does it say matte? Yep, matte ambition. So it is a matte powder, which is great for me. And it's my skin tone, pretty much, for the most part, right? We're just gonna go under here, right? And I love this because it totally blends into your skin. Even though it's looking all orange, just watch. And this is so good for the summertime when you do not want to pile a lot of stuff on. You just simply want to have, hold on, you simply want to have even tone. So just take your finger and blend it. Now again, depending on your skin tone, 
you may not need something this orange. You may need more of a salmon, okay? Listen, don't be saying Siki said use uh, shade 51 and it goes, it's universal. Mm -mm, I didn't say that. This is a prime example of why I use the Urban Decay one because you see how even though um, I put it on there and I kind of patted it out, you still see it. With the Urban Decay, it doesn't move. You pat it out and it kind of stays right there because it's more matte. But we're not going for extreme cover up we're just going for that look that makes us look awake and you know one thing i learned too is that almost every woman i don't care what age that i've talked to about this whole makeup situation they have powder in their purse now <laughs> sometimes it may be like 10 years old <laughs> but they have powder okay so almost every woman has that powder to just freshen up her face okay so you know most people want to wear powder, but they don't really want to wear a liquid foundation. Like they don't want to do all that, especially if they have a hard time matching it. Now you see how that just made life all the way better. Look at, look at this side versus this side. I look more awake. I look more youthful. I look bright. I look vibrant. So I'm going to put just a little more. Now about the brows during the week, I don't know if I finished saying it, but during the week, I just use a pencil and I just add a little, you know, just a little bit, a little tail to it because mine doesn't go all the way out like I would like it to. And when I do that, I typically go for my makeup forever. I believe this is number 40 pencil. And I just, I just kind of go through them and make them a little thicker. But for the sake of this video, and I have like a live video I'm doing later, um, I am definitely just, I wanted to do my brows. Okay make it look just more it shapes the face so brows are always a good idea thumbs up <laughs> if you can see the difference this is really supposed to be a two-step process but I want to show you the difference in these concealers so when I do that with the Urban Decay I just want to show you the difference so see when I blend that Urban Decay out like it really it stays right there because it's a little more matte and it's a little more full coverage it stays there that's why I use that around my mouth because I don't really want that to move. Under the eye, I don't really want matte. So that's why I use something that's a little more hydrating, okay? So see, you might wanna get that for your face. And they do have these in different shades. They even have a lighter like salmon type color that I keep in my makeup kit as well. So then just take your powder and your powder brush and just put that on there, girl. And now you are ready for work. But I do encourage you to, ooh, ooh, this feels good. I do encourage you to take a, a smaller brush that will get under your eye good so that, you know, it sets that in place. Because when you, whenever you use something creamy, you definitely need to set it with the powder. It just makes you look like you have that flawless skin. Now I am gonna show you something that you could do at the very, very end. I, did I just have bars? I just have ours, but I'm going to show you something at the very end that you can do to just liven up your face because whenever you use a, um, a powder or a foundation and you just apply that and you do nothing else, you kind of lose the dimension in your face. Right. And we naturally have contours, right? We not like, look at my nose. There's a natural contour there. So we don't want to take everything away. So the next thing I'm going to do is add something that will make my skin even look more glowy and more healthy and more youthful as well. Right? So this is what I do. I'm going to show you three options because all three of these are bomb. One is like a new fave. These other two, they, we've been rolling. We've been rolling for a minute. This one is called Blush Copper and it's by Becca. Now what I do is I put it over my cheek as a blush and highlighter and it gives a little bit of color to the cheek as well as a little bit of sheen and shine. Now I don't overdo it because I, I want it to look natural but this is Blush Copper and I know, I know, I know it's a little bit of color to it, but that sheen is amazing. I also use Tiger Lily. Now Tiger Lily, this is Becca as well, and these are their blushes. This is Tiger Lily. Now that has more orange in it and um, orange in the summertime, Mm, mm, mm. all the way bomb this one is from and i already swatched it because i felt like i had to do like five takes <laughs> my god today but this is from ofra cosmetics gilded palette this is a collaboration with francesca right um beyonce's makeup artist now this one i already swatched it it is right here let me move that i already swatched it it's right here i don't remember how much this palette is but versus you know one blush you can actually get some contour shades and i'm just gonna put it over over my whole cheek right because that's just what we want right and then just pop that on like that 
We don't need a lot. We just want it to give us that healthy glow. You see what I mean? Bam and simple. That's it. I have a flush of color. I no longer, I just need to show a little love right here. I no longer look like it is just, you know, no dimension like it's just all flat i'm back you guys i put on a new lippy i am still in the process of finding all kinds of new lippies because i'm very particular about my new lippies okay you guys i just wanted to come to you guys and show you that you can have a flawless like look i didn't even contour or nothing i just look all healthy and just got a little bit of life there you know what i mean let me know if this helped you and if you guys like the back to basics videos let me know and i love you guys so much i appreciate you you guys have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think okay bye I, yeah now i can go do my little live real quick because she cute mm -hmm. edges on fleek uh. <laughs> Tiki beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.